Hello, I'm Danielle Fascio, and I would like to thank you so much for being here and checking out my virtual online gallery presented by the Fernie Art Station. So growing up, I was really drawn to art and I think I exemplified a lot of creativity. So fortunately I had so much support from my family and friends and teachers and they really encouraged me to keep going. When it came time, I decided to attend university for art. During the course of my undergraduate degree, I don't think it was necessarily the best fit for me. By my third year, I had the opportunity to go on exchange and I jumped on it. So it was a pretty big leap for me to go across the world to New Zealand, but I'm so glad I did. The experience was amazing. It opened me up to not only a life of travel, but I finally saw the mountains and I was by the ocean. And the best part was I got out of this little bubble that I had been in and I met so many amazing people. Once I graduated, the only thing on my mind was to pretty much throw all of my career ambitions out the window and just to pursue a life of travel. I kind of stopped creating art altogether and I was a little confused, especially because I thought this was a great decision to go to school for this, but it left me a little more lost than I anticipated. After many years of not really having art in my life, I turned back to art and this is pretty much where Lip Sing was born. The concept came from a Freudian psychoanalytic theory. I was thinking a lot about the id and super ego and ego and Lip Sing was this creature that really embodied the id in which he just had this hunger for instant gratification and to fulfill his needs and wants and urges. I'm so bad at verbalizing a lot of things that I'm feeling. So this was a way for me to create a visual diary and I use lip sync in order to really understand a lot of the things I was going through. I haven't shared with many people the reason why I've created it because I've wanted this series to be something that can be interpreted by anyone and they can make their own story. I very much like to use humor and bright colors to provoke playfulness and create a very whimsical image. I want people to create their own story when they see it. I hope that it provokes a lot of different feelings and messages to each individual. My process has a lot of room for improvement. I am not a planner, and when it comes to art, it's the same thing. When I have something in my head, I try to illustrate it as best I can. It almost never looks like the way I envision it, but eventually I'll come out with something that will remain permanent. The reason I love making art is when I do have a final product, I feel such a sense of accomplishment and that's where a lot of my joy comes from. I do like to improvise in a way and I believe that's why I really loved using watercolor and very recently started exploring alcohol inks because it has this very flowy nature that is sometimes uncontrollable in what the outcome will be. In contrast, I've been using digital illustration and I've really fallen in love with this medium in particular. I feel as a person that loves to scrap things 
or start over, it's been great because I can undo and delete or start something new and not have to waste materials on it. Not only has that made the process a lot easier for me, but I've also managed to create things that have this style that I've been trying to achieve for what seems like my whole life. I would say a lot of my inspiration is based off of nature. I love animals and I love seeing wildlife. It will usually make my whole day if I spot something adorable. Apart from that, I, I guess since I had been traveling and seeing the mountains for the first time in New Zealand, then moving to British Columbia and now the Yukon, I am completely in love with mountainous landscapes and I love being by the water and seeing the moon and I think that all comes out in my illustrations as well. My art has been able to provide me with a really great outlet to express myself as well as provide me a lot of clarity. The Adventures of Lip Sync has been a series that I hope to continue to add to and I don't think it'll ever finish because much like me it's going to continue to evolve. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I'd also love to thank the Ferdy Art Station for putting this on despite the circumstances. I hope that the Adventures of Lip Sync have brought you some joy and if you have any thoughts or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you again and take care.